Hello, my name is Dustin Latursky, and I'm the General Manager of OEM Sales at Yamato Corporation. I want to thank you all for visiting Yamato to learn a little bit more about how we can accurately and efficiently achieve low piece counts using our Yamato combination layers. Our hope is at the end of your visit, you will come away with a better understanding on how it is possible. And also we are hoping that our SVR solution can help solve some current issues that you did not have answers for. Before we get into the SVR, I want to give you a little background on Yamato. Yamato Corporation started in Japan in 1920. We are one of the originators in radio combination layer. Yamato came into the United States in the 1980s and have installed thousands of Yamato scales into the packaging field. We opened our Yamato Western Hemisphere office in Wisconsin in 1998, and we have been here ever since. We have over $6 million in in-stock parts and 14 service techs that are dedicated to our radial combination layers. In 2012, we opened up our office in Lake Forest, California to better service and support our West Coast customers. We take pride in our equipment and our ability to support our customers. Now, please enjoy the video we put together explaining how our SVR counting system works in more detail. Here at Yamato, we are always looking for ways to advance our weighing solutions. After listening to our customers' concerns with low counting applications, we developed the Yamato SVR. The Yamato SVR is a patented weighing solution that takes advantage of our extremely accurate, ultra heavy duty load cells and turns our combination layers into the most efficient counting scale in the world. One of the issues with using a standard conventional scale for weighing low counts is overfilling or overfeeding of the buckets. If you are trying to have the scale count to two pieces and a single bucket has four pieces in it, that lane will automatically be inhibited as it is an overweight. When this happens, the overfilled buckets must be removed manually. If you do not remove the overfilled buckets manually, the scale will begin to lose combinations. Each head that is inhibited due to an overweight reduces the number of combinations by half. When targeting low counts, the feed to the scale is extremely crucial to prevent overfeeding of the buckets. Depending on the product's characteristics, shingling can often happen, leading to overfilled buckets. Trying to set up a combination layer with products that can shingle definitely make it difficult for operators to dial in the scale. Forcing an overfilled bucket into a combination many times will end up with product in the seal, and that can cause downtime and wasted film. To counteract overfeeding, many operators will attempt to underfeed the top of the scale. This type of feed is very inefficient and can cause the scale to stop as it waits for more combinations. Up until the Yamato SVR solution, the industry standard for low piece count was the use of a reject bucket between the scale and the bag machine. This makes it difficult to reintroduce overweights back into the feed system as you are rejecting below the scale. Inline metal detection can be difficult to accomplish with this reject design, and the addition of a collection bucket and reject chute can make it even more difficult to fit this setup in a low ceiling height room. For every rejected overweight, one to two cycles are missed. What we mean by this is if you are needing to reject overweight buckets, one out of every 10 cycles, the overall packaging system will only be running at an 80 to 90 percent efficiency, as the rejecting process can take time. Some pneumatic reject systems might even take longer than two cycles. Yamato analyzed all of these issues when developing the patented SVR solution. Overfeeding is no longer an issue. Now, when the weigh bucket is overfed or has an overcount, the Yamato SVR can reject that bucket at the top of the scale onto our rotating reject ring. Not only does this help with efficiencies, but it also helps guarantee count. We accomplish this by using our dual acting weigh bucket. On count buckets will be discharged to the inside chute, filling the packaging machine, and over count buckets are rejected outside onto the rotating ring. Without a reject system, a standard wearer will struggle to find combinations over time. 
RSVR removes those filled buckets as soon as they happen, giving us full combinations and preventing a missed cycle. Once overfilled buckets are rejected onto the ring, the product will rotate until it reaches the discharge gate. Once the product leaves the discharge gate, it can be redirected back into the feed system and reintroduced onto the scale. Multiple gates can be added to the scale's reject ring if blending is needed to ensure each rejected product stays separated. Yamato's SVR technology makes low counts achievable on a radial combination layer. This system makes counting a one count possible with high accuracy and extreme efficiencies. The SVR allows us to increase counting accuracy to virtually 100%. Our SVR is available for all industries with both dry and washdown environments and can be used on a wide range of Yamato weighers for all applications. Please contact us to find out if a Yamato SVR is right for you. Now that we've learned a little bit about the Yamato SVR, we thought showing one in action would really help in understanding its true capabilities. The product being run in this example is IQF Fish Sticks. The difficulty with this product is the feeding. As you see here, the product likes to shingle as well as lock together when moving across the feed pans of the scale. Because the product is frozen and breaded, it moves easily across the pans. That said, any constraint put on the product to help knock down the shingling will stop the product from moving on the pans. This can make it difficult to consistently feed each bucket. The specially designed SVR weight bucket weighs each piece and determines if the count is more than the target weight quickly and efficiently, discharging any overweights and cycling in a new combination. Once the product is rejected, it will transfer to the SVR ring. Not only is this extremely efficient and accurate, it also helps with maintaining product condition. In this example, the product is frozen. Not only can you set the SVR up for rejecting overweights, but you can also reject any bucket that has not been used in a combination for a period of time. This is very helpful in preventing product from thawing out or becoming stuck in a bucket. We use the SVR for many applications, including counting nutritional gummies into bottles. We have the ability to do both high-speed bottle filling, as well as slower, more cost-effective solutions. In this slow motion video, we are showing a twin discharge scale running up to 180 bottles a minute. Not only are we capable of high speeds, but with the SVR technology, you will have the ability to reject overweights by the weigh bucket so we don't end up with overfilled bottles that can cause the entire line to shut down for cleanup. A huge benefit to the SVR, especially gummy products, is the ability to keep the product moving. If a weigh bucket is not used for a period of time, that product might begin to bind or stick together. The SVR can force buckets that are not used for a short period of time to reject and prevent this from happening. And finally, the SVR can be used for secondary packaging. We have many SVR machines counting bags into bags or bags into boxes. The SVR is a great way to ensure your cartons have as many pieces or bags as it's supposed to have in it. So you've learned a little bit about how Yamato achieves low counts as well as some other features and benefits of our patented SVR solution. Now let's discuss some commonly asked questions. One of the most commonly asked questions we get is, can you accurately count one piece using a combination layer? And the answer to that is absolutely. It is possible to count one piece. That said, it's crucial that each piece we are attempting to count has a consistent weight. We ask for samples of the product before quoting any SVR to 
you determine if it's even possible. Natural products such as fish fillets vary in shape and size, uh, and this might not be a good option for pounding. Another question that gets asked often is, can I add an SVR option to my existing Yamato scale? Uh, the answer to this, unfortunately, uh, this option cannot be added to an existing scale. We need to customize the tower of the scale in manufacturing in order to fit the reject grid. The SVR is a completely different model of scale, and this is unfortunately not an option. Uh, what is the cost of this option of the scale? Typically, adding an SVR reject scale, a reject option to the amount of weigher, it, it adds about 30% to the cost of the scale. This option is available currently on our Sigma series, as well as our Omega line. Why do you, why do you use 16 weigh buckets for SVR scales versus standard 14 head scale? Uh, very common question, and the reason for this is to account for any buckets that are being rejected. We are expecting two buckets to be rejected on every cycle. So the 16 head scale can still take advantage of the remaining 14 heads so we can keep the speed and accuracy of a 14 head scale uh, with the rejected buckets. Those are some of the most common questions we get asked. So I want to thank you for your time. And if you have any questions regarding radial combination layers from Yamato, please reach out to us at YamatoAmericas.com or call our main office line at 262-236-0000. Thank you.